Hi guys, Caroline Hooper, Certified Laser Specialist. So in today's video we're going to be talking about stretch mark and uh, stretch mark removals. So uh, how do stretch marks occur? Well basically when, you, when your skin undergoes rapid uh, changes through either weight loss or weight gain, it causes the skin tissue to, um, to rupture and tear. Um, so this happens in your epidermis and also your lower dermis or your mid layer of your skin and this results in stretch marks. So stretch marks can be classified into two different categories. Um, newer stretch marks can be classified as red, purple or pink in appearance and they're generally only three to four months old. And then older stretch marks can be classified as white, um, transparent, silver or papery and they're generally uh, more than a couple of months up to a couple of years old. So for years we've used uh, lasers like um, resurfacing and CO2s for treating stretch marks but nowadays uh, I've turned to what I believe is the gold standard in treating stretch marks which is radio frequency and microneedling as combination treatments. Uh, the treatment that we perform in the clinic is called the reform treatment and what this basically does it's different to lasers in the sense that it's it's protecting your skin so we're bypassing the skin safely and we're getting to where we actually want to go down into the mid dermis of the skin or the epi uh, your dermis your upper level of your dermis in order to treat the damaged skin and um we can it enables us to be able to treat darker skins uh, very safely as well compared to lasers and it's a very safe treatment it's um, not very painful because we use a special numbing cream on the area for treatment and the treatment can be done every uh, every four weeks is where I like to keep the treatment. So here's what to expect even only one week post uh, treatment. So I have a special guest in with me today. I'm going to let you see this treatment being performed and she'll probably give some feedback as well on how she's feeling during treatment or what she's seeing. It's going to be her second treatment today. Uh, so she's, she's due to walk in any minute so I'm going to get prepared here and we'll let you have a look in a couple of minutes. Caroline Hooper, Certified Laser Specialist Trainer and I'm also Clinical Director of a chain of clinics in Dublin. If you're a doctor, nurse, beautician or somebody looking to get into the aesthetic industry, you should consider downloading your free five-part training module on laser hair removal in the description below this video, which I've provided for you completely free. Welcome back to another tutorial or if you're new, please subscribe. Yeah. So guys, if you want to come a little bit closer here, um, we'll just let you see. 
So this is what we'll be working on today and we're going to be covering this much of an area. So I'm going to now first remove any dead skin that's on the surface here and that's going to allow us just to get deeper in when we move on to the full procedure. Microdermabrasion. I'll just let you have a look closer look on this side over here. Uh, we've just freshly done this side. And you just see like there's redness, see, it, it draws out exactly where the uh, stretch marks are and it makes them really uh, stand out now for the rest of the treatment. Stretch marks are a form of skin scarring on the skin with an off colour hue. Over time they may diminish but will not disappear completely. With rapid growth or rapid weight changes, this causes tearing of the epidermis but can be also influenced by hormonal changes associated with puberty, pregnancy, bodybuilding or hormone replacement therapy. Stretch marks begin as a reddish or purple lesion which can appear anywhere on the body but are most likely to appear in places where larger amounts of fat are stored. Most common places being abdomen, especially near the navel, breasts, upper arm, underarms, back of thighs, both inner and outer thighs, hips and buttocks. During pregnancy, areas on the body that stretch marks usually occur would be the thighs, breast, hips, lower back and stomach and usually happen during the third trimester. Over time, they tend to atrophy and lose pigment. Affected areas are usually soft and tough and appear empty. Stretch marks are caused by stretching of your skin and tearing of your dermis, especially true when there is an increase in cortisone levels, as this can reduce your skin's pliability and affects the dermis by preventing your fibroblasts from forming collagen and elastin fibres, which are necessary to keep rapidly growing skin taut. In turn, creating a lack of support when the skin stretches, leading to tearing in your epidermis and your dermis which in turn produces scarring in the form of stretch marks. They pose no health risks and do not compromise the skin's ability to function. However, they are considered a cosmetic nuisance that can affect a lot of people's confidence, causing insecurities where most people affected often seek to have treatments. Okay, so guys, you got the chance there to see the uh, stretch mark reduction treatments being performed on um, Shapes and Shadows today, her name is actually Amy, is the girl. Um, so she very kindly let you in to have a look. Um, so as I was saying, now nowadays uh, with the more advanced um, systems that are out there, um, rather than using lasers for treating stretch, stretch marks, I believe the gold standard for, for removing stretch marks and having a permanent effect on the stretch marks is with radio frequency and micro needling used as a combination treatment. So as you've seen in today's video, we had a couple of steps. It wasn't just radio frequency and micro needling. We started off with removing the dead skin cells with the diamond tip microdermabrasion. So that's going to give us better access to um, penetrate the um, the needling and uh, the lotion that we're using during treatments once we've removed all the dead skin cells from the surface and after that then we finish up with the dual electrode radio frequency treatment which basically um, is going to work on remodeling the tissue underneath the skin um, at the surface of your dermis. So I'm going to bring you through two systems that you can use when doing needling. Um, so today we used the um, Genesis Derma Roller on uh, Amy and uh, your other choice when doing this treatment is you could use the Dermica pen. Um, when and why I would choose each of these differently, would be, well we actually used the pen on Amy for the first treatment but because we've now minimised the stretch marks we've gone in with the roller this time around to see if we can get that little bit deeper but what I find is um, you can't always use the roller because if the, the tissue that's damaged is quite thick and wrinkly. Um, the roller, when it's on the way out, because we're we're rolling on the skin as it's coming out, and it's not it's not directly coming out of the skin. It could tear, and that could cause more damage. So you need to be really careful when choosing a roller for treating stretch marks. Um, you'd want to have them minimised to a certain point in order to go ahead with the roller. So Dermica pen is always a good way to start if you're unsure, um, and like that, it's got a nice direct uh, penetration in and out of. The skin can take a little bit longer with the roller and um, there is more downtime after the treatment so there'll be more scratches on the skin um, what to expect after the treatment uh, in both scenarios is a lot of redness um, after the treatment 
very normal, that's a nice end point to see. And then your skin will be sensitive for a good week post treatment and uh, the redness can remain there for a week post treatment as well, which is perfectly normal. Um, after a course of treatments is performed, you do need to do a course of treatments to remove stretch marks. They are one of the hardest um, concerns to eradicate. So this image here is uh, one week post uh, the first treatment and this is the type of result that you should be seeing after doing a course of treatments. Generally two to three treatments you're going to see a good result but this is the end point that you're looking for. Um, but if any redness persists on the area after having stretch mark treatment done with microneedling and radio frequency, your option is uh, what I like to do is I'll follow on with some IPL treatments. Um, IPL is great for skin treatments and it's great for treating vascular lesions. So um, the, it has a chill tip on the top, so it's a sapphire chill tip, which gives contact to cooling for the skin, so it's going to protect the skin at the same time, but that's going to penetrate right down to where the redness is in the skin and it's also going to absorb the heat in the superficial layers upon the epidermis where the redness appears on the skin. So that should take down the redness from any redness that's left off over after you've done your reform treatments. So the first treatment that we've done was with the microdermabrasion. Now each of these three treatments as a standalone treatment isn't very effective for removing stretch marks. So combination treatment is um, it's not, it's the reform is the treatments that we customise ourselves, it's a bespoke treatment that we've done. We don't yet offer to our clients, we've done a lot of case studies, we are now ready to offer to our clients, but um, I believe this is the gold standard now for treating stretch marks and it will be the future. Um, but as a standalone treatment, each of these individual services wouldn't get, have a great effect on stretch marks. Yes, they can improve the stretch marks, but to get eradication of the stretch marks, um, it's highly unlikely that going to be the case. You need a little bit more of an impact. So I hope you liked today's video. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll be back next Saturday with um, vlog number four. Um, if you have any ideas of what you would like to see in that video, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably leave a couple of uh, other videos in the description below that you can link out to for other treatments that we do in the clinic. Uh, different style videos altogether, but you'll definitely pick up some tips there. And I'll see you next Saturday at six o'clock. Thanks for watching. My name is Caroline Hooper, Certified Laser Specialist Trainer and I'm also Clinical Director of a chain of clinics in Dublin. If you're a doctor, nurse, beautician or somebody looking to get into the aesthetic industry, you should consider downloading your free five-part training module on laser hair removal in the description below this video, which I've provided for you completely free. Welcome back to another tutorial or if you're new, please subscribe.